minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have lifted. Vehicle pitching down range. Chamber pressure nominal. All right, we're a little over 40 seconds into flight. 33 out of 33 wrapped engines. Power and telemetry nominal. Getting good call outs, healthy systems on the booster as it starts to pitch over, over the Gulf. All right, we're a little over one minute into flight, about to pack through max Q. Max Q. All right, so we are through the period of maximum dynamic pressure, max stress on the vehicle as it continues to fly. Our next major event is going to be hot staging, which is ha happening in just over 90 seconds from now. Uh, to get ready, the booster will shut down all but three of its Raptor engines. The clamps holding the two stages together will release, and the Starship second stage ignites its engines. The ship then separates from the super heavy booster and heads to space. At the same time, the three engines still firing on Super Heavy will flip the booster around. Ten more engines will ignite for the boost back burn, putting the first stage on the path for splashdown in the Gulf. As we mentioned earlier, the hot stage will be jettisoned for this flight, and that should occur just after the boost back burn. Uh, so we're about to shut down the first stage and perform hot staging. So let's just watch and listen. All right, seeing the engines start to throttle down. Miko. Ship ignition. Boost back burn start up. Stage separation. S stage separation confirmed. We've got six engines running on ship. Booster is doing its boost back burn, continuing now towards its splashdown site in the Gulf. Ship we are seeing all six Raptors lit up on ship. You heard them report ship chamber pressures nominal, so that chamber pressure, just that expected thrust level in those Raptor engines on the ship. Three vacuum optimized, three C level, all looking nominal. good. There's a view into the business end from the ship. Respect burn shutdown. Yeah, we did see one of those engines in the middle ring shut down during the initial asset. Oh, looks like we have hot stage jettison. You can see it floating away there to the left of the booster. Yeah, we did see one of those middle engines shut down during the ascent. Again, we are resilient to engine out on Super Starship Heavy. That's why we were able to get through our ascent. Starship flying on the expected path. There's still a chance that engine could be back in the mix for the very start of the landing burn. So we'll see if we light up all 13, but we've, I mean, we've even done a landing burn at the tower with an engine out. So very resilient. We'll see how it does on its way down to the Gulf though. All right, so we got a couple of minutes. That landing burn start should be uh, just about 40 seconds away. That's always rad, you can see the see the boost plume itself in the background as it was coming in. All right, about 20 seconds to landing burn. Ship Raptor chamber pressure is nominal. All right, here we go. Landing burn startup. Looks like we got 12 of those 13. Down to three, including one of the middle ring.
Down to two. Nice little hover. And landing burn shut down. And into the gulf, here we come. And the booster has splashed down. Incredible flight for booster today. Yeah, we have ship engine cutoff coming up here just shortly. And as we mentioned, today's flight test is not an orbital flight, but rather one that demonstrates Starship's orbital capability. Starship is in terminal guidance. All right, entering the final phase of this burn. Under 30 seconds to go. All right, shut down the vacuum engines. Ship engine cutoff. We shut down those center three. Successful ship engine cutoff. Seco, baby. There we go. That's what we want. <laughs> nominal orbit insertion. All right. We just heard the call out for nominal orbital insertion. So ship is in space. There we go. We're seeing the flap starting to, to move into a stowed position. That's why it looks like your camera's moving. Yeah, exciting to see Starship safely in space and super pumped to see all the team's hard work and action here today. And of course, as guaranteed, it's been an exciting day so far. We successfully lifted off right on time at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, thankfully, our weather was looking good today. Um, yeah, and, and Booster, we had our soft splashdown in, in the Gulf, so ship continues on. Yeah, ship able to complete its ascent, burn all the way in. So we are currently in payload deploy prep. <laughs> There's a view kind of behind the Pez here looking out into the vacuum of space. About 15 seconds until payload deploy. Chip has transitioned to payload deploy. go. Pew pew. <laughs> Been waiting way too long to do that. There we go. <laughs> There goes another one. Super exciting moment as you can hear the energy in both Hawthorne and Starbase. Everyone's super excited for finally getting to deploy some of those simulated satellites. Pez system moving down. Next row. There we go. As we said, we're going to do about one every minute or so. And this is, this is just kind of a dress rehearsal for when we're going to do, be deploying the V3 satellites. And these are just a, a massive, massive increase to Starlink's capability. Each one of them has its 60 terabits per second of capacity that's going to get added to the network per launch. That's 20 times more than what we're adding with every single Falcon 9 launch today, which, you know, step increase in capability. There goes another one.
All right. So as we said, we've got eight total that we're going to go through today. It's about a minute for each one, but looking good on payload deploy. So we're about halfway through when we actually start launching the V3 Starlinks on, on Starship. We're going to be flying about 60 each time. So it'll be about an hour to get through a full stack. But again, it's, it's just going to be a massive increase in the amount of bandwidth. It's going to enable you know, gigabit upload download for, for people with Starlink you know, anywhere on the planet. And for us. Starlink is just a tremendous part of just the Starship flight test program. Yeah, absolutely. Always getting us that data. Um, and yeah, the, the amazing views we have on the vehicle today. Yeah, views brought to you by Starlink of us deploying Starlink simulators before we deploy actual Starlinks. <laughs> How deep does it go? All right, another one firing out. One remaining, so seven of the eight have been deployed. One more to go. And then we will have completed our first ever payload deploy operation. Just a reminder, we're on a suborbital trajectory. These satellites on that exact same suborbital trajectory, they're going to burn up uh, entirely and are on that same trajectory towards the Indian Ocean. So the last one has been deployed. Starlink. Simulator payload complete. Heck yeah, everybody. <laughs> Loving the energy from Starbase and Hawthorne. There, yeah, now it's empty. Looking a little lonely, but successfully deployed all the all the simulator satellites. Really, really cool to see them all out there. Um, and shut down. All right, looks like we confirmed the relight of one of those Center Raptor engines. Second time we've done that, super exciting. Not Huge congrats sure. to the team on this milestone. What really helps us punch through is the fact that we're using Starlink. We're, we're operating at just a much higher frequency. That's not what we want to see. So we started, we just saw some of the aft skirt just take a hit. All right, so at this point, the flaps have control. That means we're getting into a dense enough part of the atmosphere. The hit we saw to the skirt, definitely interesting. I will note, when we started doing these missing tile tests, we were intentionally removing them only in the skirt, is that we've got these cameras. These cameras are really cool. We added these uh, several flights ago, looking directly at the flaps. All right, so we're about 10 minutes until we're probably going to start hearing some of the other big milestones coming up. Um, so the ones in the very bottom of the vehicle. Uh, we're, we're pushing not just how well does the heat shield hold up, but how well does the ship structure May not be a very smooth ride downhill, uh, but we're doing that by design. We're, we're really trying to find what are the edges. Structurally, we're looking good. Got good pressures in our nose cone for everything. Starship landing burn start up. Seeing three engines. There's our flip. 
There's a buoy. Oh <laughs> There's a splashdown. Oh hey. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Farewell, Ship 37. Thank you, Bowie.